Hello, hello, welcome to the Zia Cooking Kitchen. I'm Carrie and I'm glad you're here. Please subscribe because I want you to learn more about New Mexico cooking and I'm excited to share all these lovely recipes with you. So you find that subscribe button, you click it now and let's get talking butter. I love butter. Butter. Butter, butter, butter. I'll tell you, before I get started with these delicious hacks that I'm gonna share with you, as a little girl, I was notorious for eating butter right out of the refrigerator. What? In fact, my granny would often have to hide it from me because I would get a whole stick of butter out and I would peel it just like a chocolate bar. Ask any of my cousins, my aunts, my family. There were many times that Carrie was found curled up asleep with a stick of butter in her hands. It's a true story. I outgrew that when I was about three or four, but I never outgrew the taste of butter and my love for it. I love uh, cooking in the kitchen and I love hacks. One thing I love to do to uh, really bring forth a lot of New Mexico flavor in all the food is to make a day each week that I put my butters together. And what I'm talking about is compound butter. It's taking butter that's bought from the store or if you're thrifty and, and handy enough you can make it at home. I know I've made butter myself. And you add a couple of ingredients to it to make a flavorful combination that you can use on grilled vegetables, grilled chicken, you can put it on top of a steak, you can melt it and pour it over popcorn, you can put it on fresh baked muffins, you can use the sweet ones for pancakes, there's hundreds of things you can do. So let's get started. I'm going to share three delicious recipes with you today. The first thing that I did this morning was I roasted a head of garlic. I don't know how many of you have ever roasted garlic before, but I want to share with you in case you have it. When you have a whole bulb of garlic, all you need to do is just chop the top part off. And that's going to open up your garlic. And then you are simply going to dip it and coat it completely in your oil. And I use an olive oil for this. You can use an avocado oil. You can use a vegetable oil, a canola oil, whatever you want. You just want to make sure that it's completely coated. Then it goes on a baking dish and it goes into your oven for 30 minutes. I bake it at 35, I'm sorry, 350 degrees for about 35 minutes. And what do you get? you get a delicious creamy butter that is so lovely. And this is what it looks like when it comes out. So um, I'm creating today, you know I talk fast and I'm all over the place, but I am creating the first uh, recipe we're going to do is a green chili garlic butter. Now once your garlic is um, roasted, it just simply, all you have to do is just pop it right out. It is so creamy, it is mashable with your fork, and you just simply blend that right into your butter. Now this is perfect when you're making garlic toast at home. You can just go ahead and mash that up in there, flavoring your butter. When you roast garlic, it becomes so delicious and the pungent taste cooks off and it becomes so creamy and delicious. It's perfect with butter. Now since we're making a green chili garlic butter, what I'm going to do is now that I've blended in my roasted um, garlic there. I'm going to take my chili and since I'm adding something wet to the butter, I want to make sure that I blot all the moisture off. So just like that guys, watch along cooking fans because this is how Carrie does it. You're going to simply just blot all that moisture and let's go in one more time just to make sure. Now the lovely thing about these butters, they last up to six months in your freezer. They also last up to two weeks in the refrigerator. But over here, it's rare that you'll find any flavored butter that made it through to Friday. Now that we have that, I'm going to just run this through. I'm using my ulu, but any type of sharp knife will work any way that you'd like to break this up. And the reason I'm doing that is so that we can really make sure it spreads with our butter. That was so easy. All we do is take that roasted, peeled, and chopped chili. We're adding it to the garlic butter that we have, and we're mixing that together, and that is it. How easy was that one? That recipe came together in no time at all. So mixing it in, and you can see here, I'm sharing that. This is so good on roasted vegetables. 
This is delicious, just spread on a piece of toast, which is how I'm gonna enjoy it today. So once I do that, I have a couple of choices. I can either put it in a crock and I can store it in the refrigerator there, or usually what I do is I just get out a piece of saran wrap or plastic cling wrap and I put it in there and then I roll it up and I pop them in my uh, freezer and this is how it comes out afterwards so you can see. I'm trying to show you for the cameras there. So. Um, once your butter is put um, back into this form, it's really easy to serve. You can go ahead and you can just simply with a knife, you can make little tiny coins and you can drop those on your vegetables, you can spread them on your toast, whatever you'd like to do. Now that you know how easy it is to flavor butter, let me share two delicious ways that you can make this in your home. Now this right here is a cinnamon um, pecan honey butter. So what I did is I took my um, Southern New Mexico pecans, let's go pecan lovers, and I chopped those up finely. I add in about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and about one tablespoon of butter. Just like I did in this bowl, we use room temperature butter. And let's talk about butter because someone just asked me about that. American butter, European butter, all the dish delicious kinds of butter. When I'm creating my compound butters, I try to use what's the most affordable but I make sure that I'm using real butter. And um, I do love the creaminess of that European butter. In fact, I think somebody named a butter after me with my first name in gold right after it, but that's just in my fantasy mind. But let me tell you what, I love that butter. I love it on bread, but when I'm making compound butters, I'm going to be altering the taste, so don't worry about spending and buying the most ex um, expensive butter. Um, any type of real butter will work. But do you buy salted butter? Uh, I do. Now, I use salted butter. It's something that I love to do, but this is also delicious with unsalted butter, and so that's really to your preference. Now, with the savories, it goes very well, but when you're using a sweet, you might want to go ahead and just use an unsalted butter. That's always really lovely to do, too. Now, once you have your room temperature butter, you mix in your chopped pecans, your cinnamon, and your honey, and this is just delicious. I'm going to go ahead and share with you now what that looks like. And you can take a look there. And I'm going to go ahead and just munch since we're doing this. Oh, my mouth mm. is watering over here. This is a winner. This is so good on muffins. This is good on pancakes. This is just good with a spoon. All right, you know me. I'm not going to lie about that. Now let's move on and talk about the last one I'm sharing. And this is a delicious red chili and minced onion butter. This one packs some punch, it's delicious. How do I do it? I take in the dehydrated minced um, onion that you find in the spice department. I'm mixing in some powdered red chili, I'm mixing in some paprika, and some cayenne, and I'm using some chili pekin, or also called um, red chili flakes. So you can imagine how much heat is gonna go into this one. Again, we do room temperature butter, we mix all of our spices, we roll it up, and we freeze it. This one is delicious on corn. Corn on the cob with red chili butter is a heavenly treat. If you haven't tried it, I really encourage that you get on that as soon as possible. The other things that you can do is set these out. You can um, have what's called a butter board. All of you are on the internet um, these days, and TikTok is going crazy with butter boards, all these different types of flavored butters. Excuse me guys, sorry about that. And so feel free to take a look at some of those other recipes that you'll find in my catalog below. My name is Carrie. This is the Zia Cooking Kitchen. I'm the queen of hacks and flavoring your food with delicious Southwestern flair. Make sure you come back and see me again. Hit subscribe, share this video with your friends and family, and whip up some butter so you look like a delicious, delicious cook yourself. Let's get going. Let's try another one, why not? Green chili time. I have a feeling I'm gonna eat all this butter before I share it with anybody. You guys have a great day. Ooh, let's do the butter dance. Love it. Oh, okay, that's all. That's it, that's it. Mm. <laughs>